just so well. No, let me. Hi, everyone. Let me begin by saying hi. I'm here. I'm in my fluffy Christmas Primark pajamas. Because <laughs> it's, it's not a good back day. But Hamish has just built me this little bookshelf that I bought on Amazon. It was like £21 or something. It was one of the cheaper ones I could find that was prime next day and I am not someone to wait and also I can't drive to Ikea or anything right now so yada 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 I have a bookshelf now which lays at the back of my Ikea Alex drawers which you can't really see but that is what we are let me see if I can zoom out that's what we're resting on basically um so I thought I need to reorganise all my palettes anyway, I need to sort out what ones I want to keep and then I thought I would stack them all in these bookshelf, in this like sideways bookshelf, instead of having them stacked up in my drawer where I just can't see them and also it gives me a really really good excuse to um, declutter and we were gonna do I was gonna do a decluttering video on my channel anyway of my eyeshadow palettes so what I'm gonna do first is go through my collection and put in piles ones I'm definitely keeping ones I'm maybe keeping and ones that I'm definitely getting rid of and then we can go from there and start like organizing so let's let's just begin with ones I'm definitely keeping um, so I'll just like show you a few. So I'm definitely keeping my Naked Cherry. It's one of my only Urban Decay palettes. No, it's not. It's one of my only Urban Decay palettes and I really like it and I've only done one look on my channel using it. So I'm keeping that. I'm definitely keeping my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette because this is like, I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but I managed to get my hands on one somehow. So we are keeping the gingerbread spice palette. So maybe I'll like stack them on top, the ones that I'm definitely keeping. And then I'm definitely keeping my two Jaclyn Hill vaults that I still own. I still own Bling Gloss, which is the purple one, and Armed and Gorgeous. I gave away in one of my giveaways the red one, and then I gave to my sister-in-law the other day the um oh what's it? the smoky one, the really dark one, because she wanted to buy it and I was like, mate, let's have mine. Keeping my moon dust until I can use it nightmare because it's so nice. And also one that I still want to try on my channel but I haven't yet is this Diego Della Palma one because this palette swatches like an absolute dream. Like what? is that look at that blue what is that what is that so i need to do a look using that palette either in my own time or just like on my channel let me know if you want to see that because it's a brand that we've like never spoken about on my channel before but this palette blew my mind in terms of quality so i want to keep that and um, i want to keep this um revolution reloaded marvelous mats sorry if you can hear the wind it's a very windy day um, because I want to do a look using it. So we keep that gal. This is the Sleek Ultra Matte Volume 1. Oh, I do want to keep this actually because when I swatched it, hold on, I need a baby wipe. Um, when I was doing my like Sleek um, sponsored videos, they sent me this as well. And then when I swatched it, I was like, um, that's really impressive for a pretty cheap drugstore palette, although I could probably dupe it out with that Makeup Revolution one. Um, so actually, maybe I'll put that in the maybe pile because I do very rarely reach for my sleek palettes because the quality just sometimes isn't the best in their, in their palettes. So I'm gonna put that down there in the maybe pile. I'm definitely keeping this Maybelline Lemonade Craze because I did a look using it and it came out so nice and this is such a good quality palette. Again, this bronze is outrageous. It is outrageous. I would have the palette alone just for that shade but actually the other shades are really good as well. And it's drugstore. We love drugstore. I'm going to declutter the W7 Delicious because I've never ever done that video comparing it to the ABH 
modern renaissance so this is just gonna have to go because i never use it so i'm just gonna put definite nose like in that corner they can go to family and friends if i've not swatched them or donate them if i have definitely keeping urban decay born to run because i really like the quality of that palette and um, definitely keeping my sample beauty paradigm shift because that's so colorful and we love a bit of color on my channel and again definitely keeping my urban decay kristen leanne one you can still get this in lots of places and this the swatches on this are just phenomenal and i don't even think i've done a look look at that look at that deep blue why am i always drawn to blues i want to do a look using those four blooming shades so yeah i'm definitely keeping that it's a strange looking palette and also it doesn't have a lot of like good transition shades in it but i can use it like with another palette so we're keeping it this video is going to turn out way longer than i expected but that's okay well i'm definitely keeping my alien palette because this cost me an arm and a leg when i couldn't afford it and i got so many requests to buy it i've only used it twice it's a lovely palette it swatches nicely the colours are very beautiful. I just don't ever find myself reaching for it in my spare time. But I need to do more tutorials using it because I know a lot of people have bought this palette. And I think, because I love doing tutorials, I need to keep it for that purpose, even though I hate the packaging. Christmas pyjamas for the win, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to declutter any of my Huda Beauty palettes because I love these. And I bought every single one of these. I do now get Huda Beauty PR. I bought this one. And then the one that I got sent in PR, I did give away in my Christmas giveaway. So I do love all of these palettes. Do I reach for them as much now? No. But they're my little family. You know, so they stay. Don't at me. We don't need to discuss this, do we? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely declutter this one. Nat. Oh my goodness, I forgot to address this. I got gel nails done. Can you believe it? I have nails. Gel nails. I've never, ever, ever had my nails done professionally. And I got gel nails done. Oh my goodness. My sister-in-law is a nail technician. She used to be, she's now an accountant. Um, and she was like, I want to start doing nails again, so can I practice on you? And I was like, holy crap, yes. Jaclyn Hill Original Palette. I never reach for this anymore, but I've gotten a lot of requests recently, weirdly, to do more looks using it. And actually, I really do like the quality of the shadows in here, some of them. Um, and I like a lot of the matte shades. So I've got some old shadows there. So I'm going to keep it because I do like it. So she can stay and I spent a lot of money on it at the time. Um, I am someone that really does appreciate the value of makeup and how expensive it is. And I see people like declutter like Natasha Denona palettes and I'm like, holy mackerel, how do you have that inside of you to declutter that, that, that kind of palette? This is a Sample Beauty The Cult palette. Honestly, I never reach for this anymore, so I'm going to declutter this to someone that will really like it. I really love the quality of Sample Beauty shadows, but they've got more newer palettes now that I like better. So my battery's going to die, let me change that and we'll continue. Okay, okay, what is this? This is a Spare Z palette, so it's empty. But if I like go away like on holiday with my family or anything, I'll put my ABH single shadows in here. So I am going to keep that even though it's just an empty palette but i will keep it i'm also going to declutter the w7 romance palette which is a dupe for the soft glam but i think my sister-in-law might like that so i'll put it in that pile and um, these are my three nabla palettes i'm going to keep them all because i love the quality this is the dreamy which is dreamy this is the Soul Blooming, which is the most unused one out of them all, but it is still very pretty. Like, the quality of their shadows is is really, really good. 
um, but sometimes I find that they're not too cohesive so they can be quite hard to use just one palette but this is my newest one the Poison Garden which I really like and I've heard so much people say they hate it but I think this is really nice so I'm keeping all three of those babies again they're a wee family but I just wish the Soul Blooming was the same size as the other two that really annoys me but they're gonna stay we're not getting rid of a lot are we um where is my third here is another small family my little huda beauty obsessions amethyst i just dropped that on the floor she's okay she's okay uh sapphire looks like that yep they're all gorgeous i know it. oh it's like magnetized to that one well, that's fun. Oh dear. An emerald. Keeping. All three. Great value. £25 and you get nine shades. High, 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 high quality eyeshadows. If you want to get a high end palette, £25 for one of these is very good value, in my humble opinion. Again, I know how expensive makeup is. I completely appreciate that. So, but that is a, a really genuine recommendation. This is another family, you'll recognise these are all my ABH palettes. I've got the Sultry, the Prism, Norvina, Soft Clam, Modern Renaissance and Subculture. They're not going anywhere, let's be real. I mean, we're not going to lie about things like that. Okay, this one is one that I'm really struggling to get rid of, even though I barely reached for it. But when I do super bright looks, quite often I need a pastel shade to blend out the edges and make it really, really soft and seamless. This is the Sigma Creme de Couture. So this has got like a really lovely soft pink, lovely, lovely pastel blues and um, purples and yellows. So I keep it for that reason only, but I never reach for this palette on its own. This is purely to help me blend out like deep, dark, but beautifully bright looks. So that's why I'm keeping it, but it's not one I would be like, go and buy it, unless you really love the look of it, but I only use it for that purpose, so just be aware of that, if you care about that. This Technic Color Max Face Eyes. This, I need to swatch these shades for you, okay? Because look at that, so that's, really really inexpensive i will try and find out how much it is and tell you this is like subculture in terms of the eyeshadows look at those swatches does that not blow your mind i mean they're a bit dusty but the the payoff is insane from these shadows and then there's also a blush and this highlight. I need, need a clean finger. This highlight in the palette is stunning. The blush is pretty. The bronzer really works for me as well. I've actually never used it on my channel, but I plan on it. So I'm keeping it. It's so inexpensive that for the quality, I, I genuinely can't part with it because I just think it's just too good to get rid of. You know what I mean? So we're keeping her. Very inexpensive. Okay, if you remember a while back, we did a palette collection in Declutter, which was not long ago. I kept the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade, and I said to you guys, if I don't use it within a certain time frame, I'm going to get rid of it. Now what I'm gonna do, just hear me out. I'm going to use my depotter tool, and I'm gonna depot this top row, this purple, this purple, this one. I'm gonna depot my favorite nine and put them in this deep palette, okay? And then I will show you the outcome of that before the end of this video. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pop this off to the side because then I think I'll be like, no, I'll reach for that and I'll write on the back of each shadow what it is. This is a palette I used to use all the time. Do you remember Beige Cosmetics Back to Brazil? I loved this palette so much. I just never, ever, ever, 
ever reach for it anymore. But I'm going to I'm going to put it in the maybe pile because it's a good palette. I still like it, so it's going to go in the maybe pile, which is that's definitely going away. That's being decluttered to friends and family. That end one. This middle one is definitely going. So I'm going to put it in this right hand side one, which is the maybe pile. Oh, my Kathleen Light Zodiac palette, ColourPop. I'm building up a ColourPop collection. I also really like the quality of these shadows. Whilst I don't reach for this palette so much, I love this purple. I love this gold and this champagne. And obviously, come on, guys. I'm keeping it. <laughs> we don't need to discuss that. I love ColourPop. By the way, it just added me to their ambassador program. <laughs> what? Coloured Rain Vivid Pigments. Keeping, without a shadow of a doubt. These are incredible. So pigmented. So staying. Um, Makeup Revolution Unicorn Makeup Pigment Palette. I'm going to declutter this. I used it in my... Um, Bam 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 bam. Cheapest makeup at Superdrug, but I won't reach for this again. I just know I won't, and I have plenty makeup revolution palettes, so she's gonna go. Oh, this is another just handy empty palette for ABH shadow, so I'll keep that just because these are handy for traveling, or if like say I'm going overnight, stay in a hotel, I'll just pop in like three transition shades and then a nice shimmery color. So I'll keep that. So where's my keeps? Up here. Wet and Wild, um, what is the name of this one? Comfort Zone Palette. I'm gonna keep it. I actually haven't done a full tutorial with this palette, but it's really, really nice. And I actually did a sponsored video for them over my Instagram. And I used this for all my transition shades and it was lush. So we'll keep her. Also very cheap and inexpensive, and I like that. Barry M. Buried, no, Treasure Chest. I bought this kind of on a whim because I thought, wow, Barry M. don't do eyeshadow palettes and I need to, you know, maybe kind of test the formula and they've brought out a few more palettes since then. I've never ever done a tutorial with it. I've never used it. This shade here this one tickles my pickle quite a lot it's more of a topper but it's like yellow gold oh, i don't know oh, why wow, that's swatched nicely purple not so much oh, that matte swatched really nice maybe pile because it's still available i think i think P. Louise, the Secret Sinner palette, got sent this recently and I've only used it once. Oh. oh. At least my eyebrows are banging. Keeping that, because why that's expensive, they sent it to me and I just get asked to do more tutorials using it. Okay, oh my goodness, look here. Blood sugar. Blood sugar, carnival palette. Need I say anything? Obviously not. Imagine we had like a big fall and they all fell off the back and they all broke. Color Drain Queen of Hearts. Definitely keeping. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And Laura Lee, the Nudie Patootie palette. I know everyone hates Laura Lee and I don't particularly like her either, but the quality of this eyeshadow palette, palette, palette is incredible. And I really, really, really like the colors. This is like a dual chrome this J bird shade. Oh, hold on, wait till I wipe the back of my hand. This J bird shade is like a duochrome, pink and orange, bronze, maybe it's a, um, what's, what are they called? Multi-chrome. I'm keeping that palette. I don't care about Laura Lee. I don't like her, I don't watch her. So I don't not like her, I just don't watch her channel. So whatever, keeping it. OPV Beauty Spotlight. I've just used this in a tutorial. Maybe up, may not be up, should be up. Um keeping this because I love the shimmers 
may depot the shimmers and then not keep the rest. It all depends. This green and this blue. Holy guacamole. They are stunning. Um, and in my review I did say the shimmers were way more impressive than the matte. So maybe that's another couple of shades I could depot. Depending on my botheration of depotting them. So I'm going to put that in the keep pile for now. Um, keeping myself extra spice. Keeping my Tammy palette because I used this in my video that I did for Makeup Revolution using their Flawless Foils video and forgot how pigmented this was. It was incredible. So I'm keeping that. I think I might declutter my Soph Original palette because I honestly just don't reach for this anymore at all. Um, the quality, I think, of the extra spice is way better and like into what my dressing gown. There's my camera, my backdrop, my nose. Um, I struggle because I feel like I'm being mean to her by decluttering it, which I know is stupid, but I just honestly don't reach for it anymore and I think it might take up valuable space. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, okay? We're putting it her in the maybe pile. Um, my Lottie London Times Twee Lee Keeping Incredible Drugstore Palette, almost a dupe for my dose of colours. Revolution Creative Volume 1. I did a look using this in a video, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I did. No, I did. It was fine. It was fine. Maybe pile. Maybe pile. Um, oh, Tammy's definitely sticking, so why is she down here? This is my Morphe 35M. This isn't going anywhere. Oops. I love this palette so much. And I'm really debating the 35V, the one with all the blues. But this is a lovely palette and it's so hard to find these kind of grungy green shades. So I'm definitely keeping this. It was only £23, which is such a good price. I'm worried about these all falling down, so this is going to become now the definitely same pile as well oh, James Charles come on come on I think I'd get rid of that got another thing coming we've got more we have more palettes here they're coming they're coming what is this it's the exact same white and wild palette That's gone in the declutter to my friends. I've never ever reached for this um, Technic Shapeshifter, so I'm just gonna put that in the definitely gold pile. NYX Ultimate Brights. The quality of this isn't as good as like even that sleek one, so I'm not keeping it. Maybe I should keep it. I kind of want to keep it in case I do like a full face NYX video because it's the only NYX eyeshadow palette I have. Maybe fire. Oh, Revolution Pro Supreme Eyeshadow Palette in Allure. When I, when Revolution Pro first launched, Makeup Revolution still like... No, they did kind of know who I was because they invited me to the launch party for Revolution Pro. But when it came out in stores, I went out and bought a lot of it and then tested it. And this palette is such, such, such good quality for a drugstore eyeshadow palette. Like, it's really good. Those swatches aren't really doing it justice. Why do I have such a glittery hand? It's weird. Okay, even those swatches don't do it justice. But trust me, when you work with this on the eyes, it's really nice. I don't know I'm trying to convince you because I know it's really good quality and I've done a video with it so I'm keeping this palette because it's very inexpensive if you can still get it even though I never reach for it hopefully I will reach for it more 
This is weird. Bella Pierre nine fabulous nine stack. Sh nine shimmer stack. I don't even know what this is. Glitters that I've never opened. That top one is so pretty. I have so many glitters and pigments and things. I'll just put that in my giveaway drawer because it's unopened, like inside. So I'll just pop that in the giveaway drawer. Urban Decay Naked Basics. I used to love this palette. It was again one of the first high end palettes I bought at that point in my life. Yeah, it was. And. It's still good, but I really, really reach for it. I love this orange shade. And actually, this deep purple is really nice. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Purely because I did buy it and it was so expensive at the time. I remember thinking, gosh, I don't know if I should buy this. I don't know if I can afford it. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. But if not, I'll give it to my sister-in-law who would love it and really cherish it. So it would go to a good home, but we'll see. Sleep. At 3 a.m. I actually really like this palette, so I might keep it for drugstore. It's pretty good. Morphe 35B. Oh my goodness, I used to do so many tutorials with this palette. It's been discontinued, but you can still find it online in like all the old stock. I'm not gonna reach for this ever again. Let's be honest. I've got the James Charles now. This, I think, can be retired, like, into proper retirement. It's been so well-loved that I don't think even my sister-in-law would want it. So, she doesn't really wear bright colours either. I don't think anyone in my family would want it. So, I'm going to put that in the bin pile. I just think it's had its day, it's had its time, and it needs to go. What is this? Sleek Au Naturel. I'm going to get rid of this, put this in sister-in-law pile because I wouldn't use that. Well, Sample Beauty, the Tectonic palette. This is one of their newest ones. And this has a lot of grungy greens in it. So I'm keeping this grungy greens, oranges. Like, this shade here is so cool. It's gorgeous. And these all are really good quality. Sample Beauty shadows, by the way, if you've ever bought them and just swatched them, they don't swatch nicely, but when you put them on your eyes, you will see how good they are. And so that's a cute pile. This is what we've spoken about this. First ever high-end eyeshadow palette. I don't use it anymore, but it's so much sentimental value to me. So I'm keeping it. My auntie got me that. This is also sentimental. Sephora Pro um, Warm. Sentimental because Hamish bought it for me when we went to Canada on a trip and... He's doing a huge line in Sephora. He was there for ages. He was having a really rough, rough, rough time and he bought it for me, so I'm keeping it purely sentimental. Sample Beauty, this is like a Z palette of their shadows. Definitely keeping this. These are some of the, the sickest shadows I've ever come across in my entire life. I do barely reach for this just because it is a Z palette and I think it's quite easy to forget about Z palettes. But these, look at that red. That is that one there. That is the shade. Um, Mulberry. That is insane. So I'm gonna keep this. Although I do, I do barely reach for it just cause I kind of forget I have it to be honest. And a Z palette sometimes when it's like that, it's just all primary colors. I'd have to use it with another palette. I think that's why I kind of forget about it. But the quality of Sample Beauty Single Shadows is nuts. You can also use my code, make me up my side, get you 10% off. But they're now sold on Beauty Bay. So that's incredible. Now I'll lose all my commission. Beauty Bay EYN Bright 16 color palette. They sent me this. That was so nice of them in a like Christmas parcel. Still not done a video with it, so I'll keep it for that, although they are sending me the big ones because I emailed them and asked because I got so many requests. Um, so yeah. Too Faced Beauty Daydreamer. This was their Christmas one that has all these lovely shadows and then four face things. I'm never going to reach for this again because it was limited edition Christmas. So I'm going to give this to my sister-in-law. She jokes with me now that all of her makeup is from me. Um, 
Beauty Bay Origin 42 color. It's gorgeous. I really like it, but honestly, I've never reached for it since I did a tutorial with it. And then the Identity one, it just looks like this. I honestly never, ever, ever reach for it. I might put those on Depop um, because I don't think my sister-in-law will use them. They're so cl cluttery and clumsy as well. Like they're so big. Hold on, I need to get rid of the dry mouth. Who else loves these Tesco really cheap sparkling juices? They're so good. So good. Kat Von D fetish palette. Still not done a tutorial even though I've had so many requests. I've only ever swatched it. Swatch is all right. Nothing special. Um, I'm keeping it till I do a tutorial on it. I see what I think of the quality. I know Kat Von D is very controversial, but I personally look at formulas as opposed to the person kind of behind the brand. And I know a lot of people think that's like a cop out, but personally for me, that's just what I'm like. That purple swatched horrendously, but the others are pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to keep this, plus it was a Christmas present from my in-laws. They went to Sephora, if you remember in my um, kind of what I got for Christmas video. They did a huge like Sephora haul for me, which was nutty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then the last three things we are looking at here is my three ABH um, Z palettes. I bought the palettes on Amazon and they sent me when I got my big AVH parcel, they sent me every single, single shadow. Every single, single shadow, yeah. And I put them in these palettes and I re rarely, rarely, rarely reach for them. I reach for palettes, to be honest, but I'm keeping them because, first off, they are so freaking expensive. Secondly, the quality is incredible. And thirdly, I just feel so grateful that brands send me makeup that that's like quite sentimental to me so I'm definitely keeping those as well because I think they're all incredible and I got like I got more shades than what would fill those three palettes and I put them in a giveaway so yeah that's everything that I'm keeping these are probably going to go in Depop for like two pounds I don't know let me go and depot that Z palette and then I'll come back and then we will put all of this into the into the storage nicely. The only thing I'm worried about is now where can I put my camera, but that's a problem for another day, so. Oh, this one's so nice. White group and blackberry. These are like 30 pence. Okay, so I'm gonna depot and then I'll be back, show you that, and then we will do what we need to do. So this is the result of me depotting and putting into this empty Z palette. Pretty pleased I've kept four, five shimmers and then four mattes. So I feel like now I will get some use out of it. They weren't, by the way, they weren't magnetic. So I had to stick these in using glue. So now this is kind of stuck in this palette. This is now like a permanent palette. But I'll just write on the back what the names are with like little stickers. I actually have little stickers I can do that with. And then we can, yeah, it'll be happy and useful. So hopefully that is gonna be used now. I hope. Really should have just put makeup on for this video, shouldn't I? I think I'll put my nice ABHs here. Where is my, this is my Huda Beauty family, which are bigger, so, no, they're not taller, it's wider, so I'll put them there, because I love them. I'm going to put Blood Sugar and Carnival here too, because I absolutely just adore these palettes so much. So they can fit there nicely. Then what other big ones? This, I don't know, will that James Charles even stand up? Oh, it will. So James Charles can go there. And my Morphe 35M can go there. I should really 
zoom you in so you're actually seeing. I'll try and brighten it when I'm like editing, but if I'm like zoomed out, the lighting's fine, but if I'm zooming in, it's not. So I'll just zoom in when I'm editing. So I've got my two, my James Charles, my Morphe, then Carnival and Blood Sugar. So what other like big palette do I have that would fit in that gap that I'm definitely keeping? Oh, I'll just put, I'll put in my Jaclyn Hill one in here as well because then um, I've got it to hand and I know to reach for it. Um, and then I could probably fit a really skinny one in. So because I need to use this in a tutorial, I'll slip in the Sample Beauty Tectonic. And then they're all nicely in there. All nicely uniform. I'll do close-ups at the end so you can see everything. So let's move on to our second gap. I really want to use this P. Louise one more so that one can go in here along with my three ABH singles. Maybe they can go there because I do reach for them less. Um, so I could put in, I like to have things like obviously like taller to shorter, but I don't mind the P. Louise being at the edge there. Just do that. Um, oh, I'll put my Nabla family in beside that one there. Um, what is here? Where is my? Hold on, I've got other palettes that I definitely need to include in this um, place. I've got all my eyeshadow palettes from my new in drawer, and I want to put them in here so I remember to use them. So I'll put my little colour pops together just so I've got my little colour pop family together. Um, and also having them out here, I feel I'm just gonna um use them more because they're right in front of my face. Um I'll put these like drugstore ones all together. So like my Tammy and then like the makeup revolution ones. And OPV, I feel it's kind of drugstore. It's definitely not like expensive. So um, these are like kind of skinny and tall, so they could sit in that space. Um, oh, that's super cheap. That's super cheap. That's super cheap. Moon dust could probably fit in there. Leanne. Let me put in my pretty mess as well because I have used that in an Instagram tutorial and I'll know to use it in a proper tutorial. And then I'll put in there in the cap a cheaper one. I'll put in my where would they go? In here. My favourite. Those are colours one and then the Morphe ones. I might put the Diego Dal Parma one in there as well, just because I want to blow the music because it's so beautiful. And then that's drugstore. It's not like I'm trying to separate them really, but I kind of am, I guess. I'll put my coloured rain vivid pigments here because they're gorgeous, gorgina, don't break, and then the creme de couture just fits in nicely at the side there. Okay, so let's see, I don't reach for these singles very much, so they can go in this far end one. And then I have plenty room for all of these drugstore ones. It's good to keep them together, I think. So they can all go there. And then, so we've definitely more Zoeva palettes, but I've definitely decluttered them. <laughs> um, that's pretty small. So that, will have to go after my Nabla family, the Beauty Bay one. And then again, the Sample Beauty one 
gorgeous, but I barely reached for them. And then I can put in my sentimental ones at the back. This carroty one, I've still not used it in a tutorial, but it's pretty inexpensive. So I'm gonna put it in front there. By the way, the carroty liquid lipsticks are so good and are only five pounds fifty. Um, I'll put my sample beauty one at the start here. So it's going to be so much nicer for just remembering to use things. And then if I squeeze all these along, hopefully I can fit in these little drugstore ones. Yes, I can. That little drugstore one can just sit on top and be annoying and then my little Huda Beauty ones I think I'll just sit like flat on top here because I can just easily move them and um, so these are like the weird shaped ones they're gonna have to go in this side at least they can sit up and be weird and then I'll put my two piece pretty rich there. Hold on, we need to look at this maybe pile. So I'm gonna keep my BH back to Brazil because it did me so well. I'm gonna keep my, no, I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law. I need to be brutal about it. I'm gonna keep the NYX because it's the only NYX eyeshadow palette I have. I want that to go in drugstore. See, I don't want to double stack, but maybe somewhere I kind of have to kind of double stack, um, just space-wise. And then I'm going to declutter the Barry M treasure chest because I've never used it. I'm going to declutter the Creations one. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it. I liked it. And I'll keep the original soap because I have room for it, so I might as well. So let me just tidy up this end one that you're not even seeing. Maybe I could put these little amethyst ones in that end one to kind of keep the Jeffree Star ones sitting up a bit. But I don't want those there because I use those so much. And then these little ones. But then I love them so I'll remember to use them. I'm just going to have to double stack this NYX and this um, Wet n Wild one. Like a minute ago, unfortunately, just for room, unless I'm holding on to something I don't need to hold on to. Well, let me have a think about that. Okay, just to make everything fit nicely, I'm gonna declutter my Zoeva Heritage palette because I've had it for a while now and I've just not used it. I'm not super super inspired by the colors so maybe that can be another depop one it's only been swatched and then this new opv one i'm gonna depan depot these two shades and maybe a couple of other shades put them in let me i'll do it and then i'll show you so i've just taken those two shades that blew me away please focus out the spotlight palette and put them in this sample beauty magnetic palette they weren't magnetic i've just glued them in so now i've got the two shades that i really loved out of that palette and i'll give the rest of the shades to my sister-in-law if she wants it if not it'll go in the bin it's just well because now i've ruined it by taking out two shades it's not like i can depop it and the match just weren't as good so yeah those two are my favorite shades so i've kept them yeah that's all i have to say about that so this is how things look now i have my monitor on top which is the perfect height and my ring light obviously for lighting so this is the like little first cabinet i'm so happy with how this has turned out this is the second one this is the third one and then the fourth one see the alien palette just ruins everything because the shape i knew it i said it from the beginning and now i have two free drawers in my alex drawers which i could put like new stuff in, I could move my new indoor stuff into here, which is much more easily accessible than my one on my left. Um, and then that bottom drawer, I don't know, anything could go in there. Look at my nails, I can't believe I got my nails done. 
So yeah, overall, I am so happy with how this turned out. It's not taken up like any room. I have so much room on my desk for like when I'm doing my tutorials. So it's not like taking up too much room or anything. And then I need to clean up all this junk. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my eyeshadow palette collection. I have a good collection, I would say a good size, but it's not too excessive in my opinion. And the palettes that I've got I like, which is important. It's important to have things that bring you joy or are useful. I know a lot of these are just useful for YouTube, but a lot of them bring me joy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.